Okay, so I'm going to try to assemble a uh, manga screen here. Pulling out a uh, screen. Flipping that up. Inserting the connector. Which is not always as easy. Usually do something like that. Okay, flip it down again. And then <clears throat> I've got this tape that I need to use. I'm on the last part of the roll now, so it's, <laughs> it's a little bit extra difficult. Okay. Assemble that there. This will hopefully be done way nicer in uh, the Chinese factory. But this is okay for the video. Okay. Usually this will be there will be a small thing that you pull off. Oh, this is terrible. This is this is not good enough quality, but you know. Okay, I'll need to redo that. Hold on. So, okay, so I'm on the last part of this. There. There we go. Okay, so I've assembled that and then I'm putting this on and I'm aligning that to the... Also, you should use one of those uh, anti-static bands so you don't touch it. And then this goes around and in there Somehow, <laughs> there we go. Okay, and now it's time to flash it. So that was sort of the assembly. Goes in there. Now there's no light, and then I press that button. I'll insert this thing, just the HDMI cable, like so. Now we have that there so <clears throat> now it's time for the flashing and this is new so I press those and then press that one and then it should light up it did which is great now I need to press that and hold it for a while about 10 seconds it it varies a little bit but 10 seconds should do it Oh, and this is a faulty screen actually. You see those colors and everything? That's not right. Okay, so that's, well, anyways, uh, then you press the testing button and uh, you can see that the touch screen is working and I can draw and everything. But this is apparently not working as it should. So that's the first one I've seen that's not working as it should. There is definitely something wrong with this. Okay, so that's a faulty screen, but normally it should look... Uh, at least the process is okay. All right, then I use that thumb and pull that out, and the same with that. Maybe the HDMI cable is broken, I don't know. We'll see. Then uh, you, you need to put this in an anti-static bag and then put it in some uh, stuff there. So this anti-static bag is too small, but uh, so I'm, I'm gonna do this in a special way. But 
find anti-static bags that are big enough. Like so. And it goes that and then I need some of this to twirl around it like so and then I grab one of these then I do this and assemble that shouldn't take more than a couple of seconds and it goes and then finally lock it up now this is a faulty screen remember but uh that's the process at least okay great